Good day, grade 10 students, and welcome to your science class. Sit back and relax, and be ready for another day full of fun learning. Have you observed the air exhaled by the fishes in the aquarium? It gets bigger and bigger as it rises because the pressure at the bottom of the aquarium is higher than the pressure near the surface. From this example, the variables present are the volume of the air exhaled by the fish and the pressure inside the aquarium. The relationship between the volume and the pressure of gases at constant temperature was first stated by Robert Boyle during the 16th century. He performed an experiment wherein he trapped a fixed amount of air in the J-tube. He changed the pressure and controlled the temperature and then he observed its effect to the volume of the air inside the J-tube. He found out that as the pressure is increased, the volume decreases. He finally concluded that the volume of a fixed amount of gas is inversely proportioned to its pressure at constant temperature. Mathematically, we can express this relationship as V is inversely proportional to P at constant T and N, or simply PV is equals to K, where V is the volume, P is the pressure, T is for temperature, and N is for the amount of the gas. To understand Boyle's law, let's have this situation. From the initial setup, the initial volume is increasing as the initial pressure decreases at a constant temperature. Or simply, we can say that initial volume is inversely proportional to initial pressure. We can write it as P sub 1 V sub 1 equals K or P1 V1 is equals to K. While in the final setup, you can see that the volume decreases as the pressure inside it increases at a constant temperature. We can write this as P2V2 or P2V2 sub sub is equals to K. Thus, we can express this as P1V1 is equals to P2V2. This is the general formula of Boyle's Law. Now, let us apply the equation of Boyle's Law. Let's have the problem number one. The inflated balloon that slipped from the hand of Ren has a volume of 0.5 liter at sea level, that is 1 atmosphere, and it reaches a height of approximately 8 km, where the atmospheric pressure is approximately 0.33 atmosphere. Assuming that the temperature is constant, compute for the final volume of the balloon. By applying Boyle's law, can you predict what will happen to the final volume? Let us first write the given. The initial volume is 0.5 liter. The initial pressure is 1 atmosphere. The final pressure is 0.33 atmosphere. If the initial volume decreases, what do you think will happen with the final volume? So let's find for the final volume. To solve for V2 or final volume, Divide both sides of the equation by P2. That would give us a rearranged formula of V2 is equals to V sub 1 times P sub 1 divided by P sub 2. By replacing the solution, V2 is equal to 0 0.5 liter times 1 atmosphere divided by 0 0.33 atmosphere. Let us now cancel out like terms which are the atmosphere. By substituting the formula, we will have a solution of V2 is equals to 0 0.5 liter times 1 atmosphere divided by 0 0.33 atmosphere. Let us now cancel out like terms, which is the atmosphere. So our solution would be 0 0.5 liters times 1 divided by 0 0.33 that would give us a final volume of 1.5 liter the final volume will increase now let's go to problem number two 
the volume of a helium balloon is 0.85 liter at 1 atmosphere. How much is the change in the volume of a helium balloon if the pressure is increased to 2 atmosphere? First, let us have the given. Initial volume is 0.85 liter. The initial pressure is 1 atmosphere and the final pressure is 2 atmosphere. If the initial pressure increases, what do you think will happen with the final volume? So let us find for the final volume. To solve for V2 or final volume, divide both sides of the equation by P2. That would give us a final volume is equals to initial volume multiplied by initial pressure divided by the final pressure. By substituting the formula, we will have V2 is equals to 0 0.85 liters times 1 atmosphere divided by 2 atmosphere. Let us cancel out like terms, which is the atmosphere. 0 0.85 liter times 1 divided by 2, that would give us a final volume of negative 0 0.425 liters. Or, the final volume decreases. How about problem number 3? The gas in balloon has a volume of 0 0.6 liter at 101.325 kilopascal. The balloon is released into the atmosphere and the balloon expands to 1 liter without a change in temperature. What is the new pressure of the balloon? First, let us write the given. Initial volume is equals to 0 0.6 liter. Initial pressure is equals to 101.325 kilopascal and the final volume is 1 liter. If the initial volume increases, what do you think will happen with the final pressure? To solve for P2 or final pressure, divide both sides of the equation by V2. That would give us a range formula of final pressure is equals to the initial volume multiplied by the initial pressure divided by the final volume. By substituting the rearranged formula, we're going to have a solution of V2 is equals to 0 0.6 liter times 101.325 kilopascal divided by 1 liter. In this case, let us cancel out like term, which is the liter. Therefore, our solution would be 0 0.6 times 101.325 kilopascal divided by 1. That would give us an answer of P2 or final pressure is equal to 61 kilopascal. The final pressure decreases. After learning the equation, let us proceed with the real-life application of Boyle's Law. The first one is the LPG gas or the gas tank. In order to store a gas in a small container, gases are highly pressurized resulting in the reduction of the volume of the gas. The second one is the respiration process. When we inhale, the volume of the lungs increases which in turn decreases the pressure inside the lungs. Then, when we exhale, the volume of the lungs decreases, which in turn increases the pressure of the lungs. And lastly, is the scuba diving. The deeper a diver goes, the more the quantity of gas dissolves inside the blood of the diver. When he or she ascends, the dissolved gases start expanding since the pressure gets lower. And congratulations, you'd able to compute for the equation of the Boyle's Law and its real-life application. Thank you for listening. I hope you understand the lesson for today and you enjoyed our activity. Stay tuned for our next topic. Goodbye for now!